Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. Today we've got a quick action figure review of the Star Wars Black Series Tala from the recent Disney Plus Kenobi series. Let's get into it. So Tala here is going to be a mainline Black Series release, which means she'll be accessible at all of your big box stores as well as many other online retailers. Uh, I managed to get mine just a little bit early from Entertainment Earth. Uh, they have them in stock right now if you're interested, and they've always done a good job taking care of my order, so I do recommend them if you're looking for this figure. Once you get Tala out of her plastic-free packaging box, uh, we have a really solid base sculpt for a lot of future Imperial officers. Uh, up to this point, we've had several male officers. We've had Grand Moff Tarkin, Admiral Rampart, Admiral Piet, uh, but this is the first time we've had a woman uh, as an Imperial officer, so I definitely think there's a lot of potential here, uh, and there's a really solid base sculpt there. Uh, Tala does come with a pistol accessory as well as the holster uh, that she has, which is a kind of narrative plot point throughout the show. Uh, and she does have a trigger finger on her right hand, uh, which accommodates that pistol nicely. She does have pretty solid articulation throughout. Uh, her neck has some good swivel there. The arms only get about a 90 degree angle there, but for many of our Imperial officers, that's just kind of been the trend. Um, her legs are single jointed uh, and do have that pinless joint uh, technique that Hasbro's been putting into place a lot. So I'm a big fan of that. Um, and I think it definitely has some limited articulation for this figure. You're not getting more than 90 degrees on elbows or knees, uh, but all in all, I still think it works. Now, one call out here, and you may have noticed this from my footage here, is that Tala is really shiny. Um, I don't know if there's a different plastic being used here, but both on the face as well as the body, uh, it is a very noticeable shine here. So you may have to break out some kind of matte spray in order to get a little bit more of a reduced effect here. Uh, I know on many of our other, uh, of the male Imperial Officer releases, we've kind of had that same shiny effect on the bodies, uh, but never so severe on the face as well. And so uh, whether you do it all over or just on the face, you'll definitely want to use some of that Krylon matte spray. I'm hoping that's something that they can adjust for any future releases using this uh, base body here. Uh, is when you stack up Tala next to a Stormtrooper, uh, she looks, I think, really solid. And what excites me most is the opportunity to make different uh, custom Imperial officers using this base body. Uh, whether that's, you know, Admiral Sloan or Deidre Miro or even some of our Legends releases like Admiral Dalla. Uh, it's definitely great to get a female officer out there as I think that opens the door for a lot of other projects. If Hasro doesn't go ahead and make those themselves. As one final call out for our Tala release here, the hat is not removable. It is part of her head. Uh, so if you are looking to make a custom project using that base body, you'll either have to go without the hat or borrow one from another one of our past officer releases. So all of that said, let me know your thoughts on this figure here. If this is one that you're going to be picking up, if you're going to be customizing, and if you are customizing, what characters you'll be looking to make, as I know I'll be making a couple on the channel over the next several months here. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're interested, we have other reviews up on the channel like this, reviewing different action figures, uh, as well as some other videos detailing how you can make action figures of your own. So, make sure to check those out.